Hello folks, as promised Mr. Mike is here back again and uh, we've built a tarp shanty village, a little hobo village like we like to do, peasant style. Uh, stick along, we're gonna spend all day out here, spend the night, cook up a pork roast, some potatoes, listen to scout cry. Good job, Michael. So it's April 10th today and we are having a snowstorm. It's very cold and it's snowing constantly. So we're lucky to have scouts all covered in snow, you can see them. We're lucky to have this tarp shelter set up. We got out here maybe an hour ago. It took us about an hour to do this. Find a, walk in, find a spot, set up these shelters. So we're doing all right. Uh, we got good blockage from the wind. We're doing a double Adirondack shelter configuration again, but this time we're leaving it open like a V. Last time we had them, face to face and butted up against each other. This time it's open like a V. The back behind me is closed off. The front is very wide open with the tarp above as you saw and uh, we'll have the fire out there. We're gonna uh, need a fire for a lot of things today. Stay warm, dry and cook our food. So I'm just laying out my ground, my ground tarp. Uh, Scout's gonna sleep on this side with me. Mike's over here. So I'm gonna get everything set up right now. Get all my gear out and kind of make it like home. At least it's not cold. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little chilly. Oh. <laughs> Leave my Arcteryx hard shell alone, Scout. Well, some weird weather today. Uh, we came out here and it was uh, windy and snowing. And now I don't know what it's doing. Is it raining yet? Freezing rain. Freezing rain right now. And you can probably hear it hitting the top here, but it's warming up. So it's gonna turn into rain. There's a big mud pit in front of us now. So I'm gonna sit in here. We've been collecting wood. Go on, bud. We've been walking around collecting a bunch of firewood because go on, bud. Because we need to uh, slow roast our pork roast. So I'm just gonna sit in here now and uh, make some feathers because that's what I wanna do. Make some quick feathers. I let Mike use my new battle horse knife and I'm using my um, Charlie Gasconade. Hey Joe, what pants are you wearing? <laughs> Scout looks hungry. <laughs> We got a good base for our firewood. We'll probably have to end up getting a little bit more, but we got uh, in there a red oak, scout, elm, and ash. Nice piece of ash. So it's almost three o'clock. Uh, we're gonna start the fire. We wanna get a good bed of coals going for supper. And uh, we got enough firewood. Oh my goodness. 
We got enough firewood to, to, to keep it going for a bit. Don't mind Scout. So I'm gonna start it like every every time with a fire steel and wood shavings. Or not, maybe not. So we're gonna start it. This is my first day. Mike's gonna start the fire. No. Oh. Can you teach me how to do that? <laughs> love the love the plane. You just didn't have the right knife, that's the problem. <laughs> We're just moving our firewood on inside because it is raining now. Testing, testing. So to go with our amazing pork roast that Mike brought, we're gonna do some red potatoes with shallot. Bought a shallot with it. But we're also going to, because last my last video and I, I, I ate the leeks and I ended up throwing away the leek leaves and everybody said that I should have eaten them. So that sounds good, I just didn't even think about it. And I will do that. I'm gonna cut all my leek leaves up with my ball, my little bit of bulbs and put those in my potatoes as well. Did you bring salt or pepper? Um, uh, no. No. <laughs> More mud. It's a little muddy today, boys and girls. A little wet too. So, that's my greens. And they will go into my potatoes. It's a good thing we got this because Mike Mike didn't bring the salted pepper. So what are you gonna do, guys? What are you to do? Oh, so much smoke. Got yeah, mud seasoning on. <laughs> Whatever, if dirt's gonna get diluted. Ooh. We're just making a spit for our pork roast. I'm cleaning up all of the bark off of it to make it as sanitary as possible. And we're gonna actually, the pork roast is big enough where we can actually skewer it right through um, and not have to sandwich it in. So this is gonna get, get carved to a point and uh, stuck through the pig. How are we doing this, Mike? Let's take her straight in. Is it in yet? It was... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, we should push it further. Can you feel it? Yep, I got it now. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Look at that, boys and girls. That's gonna be slow smoked, roasted. It should be good, it's tight on it. and it, uh, The reason I did it, because it's strung this way. Right. Radially. Perfect, I think it will. I don't think there's any issue with it falling. No, nope. and if there is, we'll fix up what we're doing. It's no big deal. We should put more logs on, because it's like. Nothing's ever good enough. A little smoky. A little smoky. <laughs> the wind keeps switching direction on us. It's uh, well, a touch, touch smoky in the sauna here. Uh, we had to put a skewer going through 
uh, sideways on the pork to keep it from rolling. The pork would continuously roll on the, on the spit. So put uh, one skewer on the top of it and it held it in place right now. I might have to do something a little bit later when it gets more cooked and, and see how it goes. But the fat's starting to drip off, a little juiciness going on and uh, yeah. Looks really good. <laughs> Looking forward to her. Yep. The wind to kick up and get windy. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. So we have a dilemma. Big one. It's uh, it's 508. And how many beers did we ha do we have each? Three. We have three beers each, and they're they're good beers. One is what nine percent. Yep. So the tall boys, and the, they'll last us, but there was only three of them <laughs> each. <laughs> and it's five o'clock. We have nothing to do. We're waiting, we're watching our pork drip juices on the fire and just salivating sitting here. So, as I'm sure Scout is. You know, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make an executive decision and drink a beer. I think I should. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Do it. Savior of the day, Michael. <laughs> Michael says we should split one. Smart. Two smart. and a half each, not two. There you go. Math. But yeah, I'm sorry. I just kind of want to sip on one, you know what I mean? Right. How's that rain chilled beer feel? Cold. <laughs> I brought a cup. I just what the heck is <laughs> Look there's a random bug in there. A little bug in the beer. A little beer bug. This is Collective Arts. Ransack the Universe. It's a 6.8 strong beer IPA. Mm-hmm. The only kind. Hemisphere IPA. Ooh. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> it smells good. I think there's just hops from the northern and southern hemispheres. I don't know how to, I don't know how to gauge. Pour more into the cup. Feels normal to me. Put a little more in. Yeah, it looks right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, piss. Alright, cheers her, bud. That's really good. That's really good. Tart. A little, a little fruity and tart. Citrusy. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Joe's Beer Tastings. Galaxy and Mosaic Hops. Washington. In Australia. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, that pork's been on there for about two hours now. It's almost done. We got our uh, foil dinners there behind my feet. I'm just trying to warm my feet up because I am pretty chilled right now. Uh, just being wet all day and the temperature dropping and sitting here not doing too much. But almost time for food. She looked done? Done. Oh, she's done, man. Yeah. It's hey? Yeah, it's good. Oh, there's a smoke ring. 100%. Dude, where is the camera? Yeah, she's done, man. She's done beautifully. Thank you. Phenomenal. Have you had it yet? Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so we always get steak and we want to do something different. This pork roast was a great idea. Slow cooked two hours. We've got a smoke ring on it. There's more than we can handle for what, nine bucks you said you paid for it? Yeah. So Scout is going to get quite a big hunk of pork. 
Ne boil. Oh man. Well, we've eaten, and we have another predicament. The scout is starting to shiver. He's soaked. He's full of mud and water, and um, he doesn't have a sleeping bag. So who knows? Who knows if he'll be dry or not? And we're trying to decide whether or not we're going to stay here or go sleep at my house tonight. Mike came from his place a couple hours away with the intention to camp. Am I in focus? Is this in focus? Are we in focus here? Anyway, it's just your face. It's just <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna do? What are we doing? Well, it's still raining hard. <clears throat> it's not supposed to stop. I I don't hate the idea of going home, to be honest with you. No. I, mean, I could go either way, but. My house is dry and not full of mud. We have two more beers. Yeah. And now you're laying in the mud. Let, let me show you what Scout looks like here real quick. <laughs> you get just to grasp the reality of the situation. <laughs> so, so there's the scooter waiting for more meat. He's been getting a lot of it already. But if you look, this is no longer just mud. It's water and he's laying right in her. Stand. So he's a little, a little muddy and wet. My concern is that he's going to be too cold tonight. Um, maybe I'm just using that as a little bit of an excuse to go home as well. But what do you think? Call it. The sleeping pad part. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I was telling you to Joe that my only regret is blowing up my sleeping pad. I have a huge one, but. Uh, I wouldn't mind staying if it was gonna stop, but it's literally supposed to pour right through till the morning, so we have to leave in the morning in the rain anyway. Yeah, there's no shame in calling it in sometimes. I have zero shame. No. Zero shame. No. Honey, come pick us up! My conscience is clear. <laughs> hey, buddy? You happy with our decision, Mike? Absolutely. <laughs> Me too. I will sleep tonight. Yeah, go home, have some, have some beers, maybe watch Star Wars, <laughs> kick it back. Yeah, not too shabby. It was a good day. Oh, good day. Yeah, great day. I imagine the rain would have made the creek rise because it's been raining all day. I'm just hoping it doesn't go over my boots. Not too bad. Good to go. Just a mad dash. Oh, yep, yeah, let that time. <laughs> the stump. <laughs> two for two. Just in case you thought I was exaggerating about the, the temperature, that's an icicle on that branch. This is not the beginning of April anymore. <laughs> Man down!